and it is the responsibility of every one of us to make our future and freedom a reality. I have come to share with you today the history of Lithuania. For many of you who do not know, uh, go to the comment section, please, uh, Minister Sonny, and see how to highlight what I put on the comment section, which is the act of, of the re establishment of the state of Lithuania. The same thing is happening to Biafra. We are declaring the restoration of independence of Biafra on the second of December in Finland. And I want to inform all of you that what works for Lithuania may not work for us. Nigeria as a terrorist state has made it very impossible for us to stay in our land and declare our independence. So we are going to bring the independent from outside the offshore of Africa. It is what we know that is definitely going to work for us. I want every one of you to look at what is highlighted on this space. You will see the, re the act of the re-establishment of the state of Lithuania. And you look at, the, at that document, you are going to see signatures of people that signed the declaration of independence of Lithuania. The same thing you are going to do in Finland, for those of you who will be coming to Finland as a delegate, you will have the opportunity to append your signature on the Biafra document, the declaration of the Biafra, of the restoration of independence of Biafra on the 2nd of December 2024. The media war and propaganda is ongoing. Don't panic, don't shiver, don't move an inch. Remain where you are. More of the propaganda will come. More of the media attack will come. Do not shake. We have prepared you for this day. For the past two years, we were busy molding you, preparing you for what is to come. Why the people that are bringing the propaganda today were laughing at you and taking us for a joke. Now they have found out it's no longer a joke. And they have come for propaganda. They came late. If it was in the beginning, when people do not know their left and right, I would have been panicking that, oh, they're going to deceive you. But you, you, you are already prepared for what is to come. And we will inform you ahead of time before their propaganda started. Now, the act of the re-establishment of the state of Lithuania, or act of 11 March, was an independent declaration by Lithuania adopted on 11 March 1990 signed by all members of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Lithuania. In today's Biafra, Biafra cabinet and delegate that will be in Finland. Signed by all members of the Supreme Council of the Republic of Lithuania, led by Sir Judis, the act emphasized restoration. I want you to listen to me very importantly. The act emphasized restoration. It is the same thing that Biafra is doing this year. A lot of people don't know what we're doing, but the outside world, the international community, the European Union, the Western world understand what we're doing very well because we, do, we are not the first to have done it. Now, this, this act, which you are seeing on highlighted comment, emphasized on restoration and legal continuity of the interwar period of Lithuania, which was occupied by the Soviet. Soviet Union and annexed in June 1940. In March 1990, I wanted to know how many years it took them to declare the restoration of Lithuania from 1940 to 1990. To 1990. Do the pros and minus and post in the comment section how many years it took them. Now, from 1967 to 2024, do the minus and post the comment how many years it is taking Biafra to restore their independence. It was the first of all these 15 Soviet republics to declare independence. Lithuania was the first country of all the 15 Soviet republics that took that bold step that nobody ever did. They took the bull by its horn. It is them that started the declaration and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Somebody has to start it. 
And God is using me, Simon Akbar, to study the solution of Nigeria. And it is happening this year. Mark my word. There is nothing in this life, no force in this life will stop Nigeria from the solution. And it starts from this December. Soviet Union was a very strong union. Everybody knows that. But in March 1990, the Lithuania became the first of all the 15 republics to declare independent, with the rest following to continue for 21 months. It, concluding with Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan independence was in 1991. This event, part of the broader process, doubled the parade of sovereignties, led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union in, 19, in December 1991. I want you to understand, do not listen to all the little livad idiots who are very comfortable slave. You are not a comfortable slave. Biafrans are known for being a Republican. They are very, very wise. Yeah, they are not that comfortable. Even our own ancestors, when they were being taken away as slaves, they decided to jump inside the sea instead of becoming a slave. That's who we are. Now, let us go to the background. Loss of independence. Lithuania was once an independent country. Many years. After the partition of the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth in the 18th century, Lithuania was part of the Russian Empire. In the aftermath of the Russian Revolution of 1917, the Council of Lithuania, chaired by Jonas Bazenfichus, proclaimed the act of the independence of Lithuania on February 16, 1918. Are you listening to me? In 1918, a man called Jonas proclaimed the act of independence of Lithuania. Somebody have to do it. Whether other people agree or not, somebody have to wake up and do it. And for the Lithuanians, a man called Jonas took up that challenge and did it on February 16, 1918. This is history. Some of these people who have deceived Biafran for ages don't even know what is freedom of fight. Now, Lithuania enjoyed independence for decades in August 1939. So from 1918 to August 1939, the Soviet Union and the Nazi Germany signed the molotov robbitrop Pact which many of you have actually heard Mazin and Bikano talking about the Molotov. Dividing Eastern Europe into spheres of influence. The Baltic state, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia were assigned to the Soviet sphere of influence and subsequently were occupied in June 1940. So from 1918 to 1940, they enjoyed independence. After 1940, the Soviet Union took over after they have shared them like commodity. Germany and the Soviet Union shared Lithuania, shared Latvia, shared Estonia, like they are sharing you today in Nigeria. Tomorrow you wake up, they say you belong to Kogi. Where Igbo man is speaking Igbo in Kogi state, they shared you. Where Igbo man is speaking Igbo in Benue state, they shared you. And Nigeria is sharing us, sharing us and nobody is talking. And they thought they have actually conquered everybody. The same thing they did to these people. They shared them among themselves. Now, like I said, they were assigned to Soviet occupation in 1940 and converted into Soviet Socialist Republic. Are you paying attention? In Lithuania's case, President Antanas Smetona left the country rather than accept the occupation. Instead of this man to accept the occupation, he left the country and, believe me, probably from government in exile. He did not sign but turned over his presidential duties to Prime Minister Antanas Mericus. As per the constitution, the next day, Mericus declared himself president in his own right. The cabinet confirmed Mericus in office claiming that 
Smetona had effectively resigned by leaving the country. Two days later, under Soviet pressure, under Soviet Union pressure, Mericus appointed Justus because they are now the puppet of the Soviet Union. A left wing journalist and longtime opponent of the Sometona regime as prime minister. Mericus then resigned at Moscow insistence, in, in, in making Palex acting president as well. So you see, they have put pressure, the Soviet Union from Russia have put pressure up to the point of appointing their own person who is their puppet as a prime minister. That one become president overnight to protect the interests of the enablers and the vendors. The Soviet Union then used the Palex government to give the final Soviet takeover, the appearance of legality. They have to use somebody inside, always like that. Just like they destroyed IPOB Nigeria today. What Mazinam they cannot suffer for many years. If not that God used many of us to rescue the Biafra struggle, the Biafra struggle would have been gone since 2021. Age of four, want them to be like uh, um, uh, Onyema of APIS that used uh, the, uh, the uh, um, militant in Niger Delta to become an uh, uh, aeroplane operator. Many of you don't know how Onyema made his money. He was negotiating the amnesty of the militant. This Asari, this Asari pig, Tompol, all of them. Onyema was the one who negotiated on behalf of them. And Nigeria pumped money into, into his account. And he used that money to become aeroplane island operator. Today, it is where he makes the money. Many of you don't know that. He was the only one as a lawyer then going to the creek to make deal with this Asari idiot. He used the money to become a, a billionaire today. While the people who do were fighting carrying gone, as they are as they as they are known for them. We are just ordinary pipeline guiding. They were guiding ordinary pipeline. Today, Tompolo take the same, the same measure and the same step. The Soviet authority undertook Soviet Sovietization policy, nationalization of all private property. You see, immediately they put their own person, they begin to nationalize, privatize all the property, collective, collective, collectiveness of all agriculture, suppression of the Catholic Church and the imposition of the totalitarian control at the same time free education and the free national health system were also introduced the armed anti-soviet partition were liquidated everything liquidated just the way they want to do to biafra by attacking esn immediately mazin and was captured they sold everything and samon came out from nowhere by 1953 approximately 56,000 Lithuanians dubbed enemies of the people were deported into Serbia. I want you to understand when the enemy and the vendors and the conquest want to attack you, they use everything within and without. After the death of Joseph Stalin in 1955, in 1953, the Soviet Union adopted the Stalinization policy and ended mass persecution non-violent resistance continued both in lithuania and among the lithuanian diaspora among the lithuanian diaspora both in lithuania just like both in biafra land today and among the biafran diaspora which many of us are part of this movement were secret this movement were secret just the way biafra movement were secret this movement where secret, illegal, and more focus on social issues, human rights, and cultural affair, rather than political demand. Are you listening to me? Now, independent movement, as Mikhail attempted to retrieve the economy of the Soviet Union, he introduced the gloss nest and the protocol restructuring, the same thing Nigeria is trying to do. All these things were aimed at making sure that they continue to force everybody into the union when they are not actually part of the union. Now, that led to the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Lithuania in 1990. And here, 
you have on the comment highlighted the signatures of 120 something people 24 124 signatures as you can see here in biafra we will have up to 1000 signatures maybe 500 signatures who knows how many people delegate or biafra's representative that will be in finland to sign and append their signature on the declaration document after over 50 million have voted in the self-referendum our own is very peculiar i want you to understand that this particular liberation of biafra is something that nobody else have ever done we don't have any comparison anywhere in the world we have designed a way a packed way to exit nigeria that no other people have used in the past and we call it the multi-dimensional approach after the declaration we will make sure that all the terrorists in biafra land is eliminated until one person is remaining from them we will still eliminate that person at the end of the day we are going to sit on the round table and Nigeria will grant and accept and approve the referendum that the Biafra government in exile and the homeland have conducted. That is the way it is going to end. Go and mark my word. We will kill them. These terrorists that are coming to kill our people, Okoma community has been burned and people have been killed. Innocent Nigerians do not call themselves Nigerians. Many of them will identify with Nigeria. They have killed them. Many of them who identify themselves as Biafrans, they have also killed them. And one thing is that nobody will kill us again without revenge. We will retaliate brutally. And I'm telling you that every Nigeria wearing uniform person in Biafra land remain a wanted person. You can't kill us again and go free. They will continue to hunt them till the last day. Nigeria will recognize that Biafra has conducted an Indian uh, 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 referendum and must accept the result of that referendum. Because they are going to accept this result, whether they like it or not. I want you to understand that before now, we have no mandate. As per se, our mandate is the mandate we believe that Nigeria is not working and Biafra need freedom. But from December 2nd, we are going to have a documented mandate. Mandate given to us by the Biafra people. Mandate given to us by over 50 million who have voted in the first and second round of the referendum. Mandate where we are going to sign document and make the document a living document, legal document, that will be recognized anywhere in the world. And that is where we are going to put our hand, hang our hand on, and say to any person that cares to listen, we have the mandate of the Biafra people, and here is the mandate. The, uh, the drafting, the declaration drafting committee is doing their job. They are going to also come up with a document just like what you are seeing here in the comment section, where every delegate in Finland is going to put their signature. That declaration of Biafra, restoration of independence of Biafra, is going to come like a book because our problem is peculiar. Our problem, there is no other country that have gone through what we've gone through. Our grievances will be a book. So in that book, we are going to have the grievances listed in the book, and then we are going to have a just small paper like this, what you are seeing on the screen, what is gonna be the declaration, the declaration wording of the Biafra restoration of independent state on the 2nd of December. And after that, the entire delegate in Finland will append their signature. The Biafra flag then will be raised to the highest level. I welcome every one of you this evening the Biafra Liberation Army have decimated the terrorists, the zoo terrorists, twice today. The first time they came, we spoke in a very powerful language with Obuni way. The second time they came, they collected water, water. So I'm talking to you today, many of these terrorists have fallen. Thank you very much, the media team, over to you. I'll be taking questions for the, for the next 20 minutes. Thank you. Yes, Pian, thank you. Please, uh, co-host, uh, Minister Van Van Van. Thank you so much. We are from people and uh, everyone that have came in, reach out to the mic and ask your questions, please. Be straight to the point because the Prime Minister may not have all the time for this. Just go straight to your point. Um, Judge God, you will go first, but before then, uh, Minister Jare, you have the mic.
I'm, 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 you're not there. Okay, just said, go. Okay, I muted myself. I muted myself. Thank you, my Evo PM, Mechiko Kabiyama Puini Henile, continue to strengthen you and use you the way he has done so far. And dear friends, we give God glory for it because we are very clo close to the church food of Biafra. So please, as your hands are up, 60 seconds, please. Uh, do All right, wonderful people, welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as to the what. In case you have not joined our social media handle, what are you waiting for? Kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop, it will be the first we'll collect them. Let's go down to the news proper as it the hot as the indigenous people of Biafra has threatened to deal with Ibezim if uh with other senators, if Tinubu government sets up Aramajeri IDP camp in the southeastern part of Nigeria, this is coming from the members of the IPOB. Let's go down to the full detail of the information as they go. Make you see what in the happen there. IPOB made a threat in a statement issued on Thursday by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, when the sessionist group retreated its unequivocal rejection of the establishment of IDP scales acquisition centers in Imo State. The indigenous people of Biafra has vowed to deal with Senator Frank Ibezim representing Imo North Senatorial District on the platform of the ruling All Progressive Congress and the lawmakers representing Oware Zone and Olu Zone of Imo State if they succeed in backing the Nigerian government to set up internally displaced people uh, camp in Imo or any other part of the southeast region. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. IPOB made the threat in a statement issued on Monday by its media and publicity secretary, Emma Powerful, when the secessionist group retreated its unequivocal rejection of the establishment of IDP skill acquisition center in Imo State. We state categorically that this covert operation to import terrorists and bandits into Biafra land is dead on arrival. In the light of the said project, IPOB is warning all Igbo politicians who see the deployment of terrorists and bandits in the name of IDP camp as their dividend of democracy from a federal government that hates the Igbo nation of Biafra to be ready for the consequences the IPOB spokesperson said. He said, all the Imo state politicians that, that collude with hope who's Adema to import Fulanese and Alamajuris using the IDP ski acquisition center as a cover to be prepared for what is coming. IPOB and Ndibo will not sit by and watch the selfish and treacherous politicians mortgage the future of unborn Biafra generation for their political ambition. We will not allow the importation of foreign terrorists Marudas into Biafra land in their quest to change the demography and homogeneity of the Biafra nation. Senator Frank Ibezin and the other two senators representing our zone and Olu zone must receive the consequences of handing over Imo State for IDP camp while our youth have no industry or companies in the same state to employ them. These senators hiding in Abuja and in their well fortified homes working on importing terrorists and their informants using IDP camp, we have themselves to blame. No inch of Biafra land is available for IDP camp. The internally displaced persons in the north should be accommodated in the northern region where there is a vast space of land. Igbo greedy politicians should know this and know peace. All right, welcome back. I know that you have had that information that is coming from the indigenous people of Biafra uh, concerning the IDP uh, that the federal government uh, with the United Nations has planned to uh, bring to the land of the indigenous people of Biafra uh, to bring it to Alibo and this is supposed to be a number no that is where this thing is supposed to be situated and IPOB say that their hands are off. And um, if the, the politicians who are supporting this bill uh, uh, end up to succeed, uh, IPOB say that uh, these politicians 
uh, will bear the consequences. They even went up, uh, went as far as calling the names of these politicians, Frank Ibezim and the rest of them. Um, my people now don't hear them as they go. And right now, I just entered Anambra State as it be. Uh, they say Soludo walking the talk in Anambra Water Sector Commissioner Chuku Emeka Mefo. Uh, as it be, they say Soludo is walking the talk uh, because he was able to set up a uh, water sector in Anambra State. And the question is, in the 20, 21st century Nigeria, or in the 21st century Anambra State, uh, are we still looking at water words? Uh, uh, that's what we used to call it those days we were small at uh, that time this thing used to work sometimes it works once a week sometimes two or three times a week or something like that and it is situated uh, in umbara maybe in a vast big area where people can set up their gallons and the rest of them and it is very appalling that in 2024 that the project chukuma child soludo is setting up in anambra state is about this water was of course, you know, in any village now, anybody can dig their own borehole. So I don't think that borehole is one of the problems that is suffering the people of Anambara. Meanwhile, if he's setting up these boreholes, where is he setting it up? And who are the people that are going to be using this borehole? Because as far as Anambara State is concerned, people can pay for their water, people can buy their water. I think um, it's high time the government stop deceiving themselves and start making investment in the things uh, that will be able to boost the economy of this nation. Some things that will help in, in revenue generation. Things that will be able to generate good revenue for the state and for the nation at large. But as it is, uh, you can see that our politicians have not come out. Uh, they have not uh, come out for such a thing uh, all the politicians want to pack and put in their pocket and some of the projects if you ask uh, the the anambra state government how much it costs them to you know come up with this borehole you will find that the project will be running in billions or in millions and of course if it were done by a common man or a village you will be spending a uh, cheaper money i don't think that the problem that um nigeria is facing now or is the issue of uh, the issue of uh, building uh, boreholes for the people? What about electricity? What about good road network? What about industries uh, where our youth can be employed? Of course, you know that um, millions of youths are graduating from the university every year, every section. Uh, but as it is, uh, you find out that uh, that these people don't have anywhere you know they can be employed they are just unemployed and they are just there and the government is not doing anything to make sure that they alleviate the poverty in the nation rather they are going about making sure uh, that a lot of money is being spent in building uh, projects that are not feasible Meanwhile, as CDB, they, they say APC suspends the ex-deputy governor six orders over party crisis. The All Progressive Congress in Bayasa State, the Goa local government chapter on Sunday, indefinitely suspended the former deputy governor of the state, uh, Unipere uh, Sebarugu, and six orders for alleged anti-party activities. Uh, Sebarugu, who was the deputy to a former governor and immediate past minister of state, uh, State Petroleum Resources Chief Timmy Perez Silva was also an acting governor and speaker of the State of Assembly. This was a mild drama at the Decrap Hotel in Yanogua as the chairman of the Yanogua local government chapter, Mr. Tony Okokuro, refused to mention Sabiru's name uh, thrice until other members of his executive, executive committee compelled him to speak, specifically mention his name. Uh, APC is gradually becoming the, the dominant party in Nigeria and they have not been able to give other parties chance to exist and if you watch you find out that APC is making sure that they take over the 36 states in Nigeria which is not how it is supposed to be uh, because uh, if it happens that way it means that uh, the Nigerian government has been monopolized 
and APC are now the ones heading everywhere, which is not supposed to be so. Meanwhile, on another information, there has been a big clash between the members of the indigenous people of Biafra and the members of the Nigerian army. And as I they took head for that information, uh, they say now to uh, no be small clash uh, between the two parties, uh, between the uh, the two people. Now as they be, uh, they say many many men uh, don't fall uh, because of this matter where we say it happened. But you don't get a CB where it never be before. And now here I got the wine and the cotton. I can't be careful. I will saw voila. Uh, and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first. We'll collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.